You can have any number of wonderful drugs, but if they all sit in the lab, they're not helping anybody. Being able to get them out there to the patients who really need them, that is what we do. This, to me, is the most exciting part of drug development. What we do is generate data in these large phase three trials. We do studies with somewhere between 200 and 5,000 patients. We are generating data on new drugs, on their efficacy, on their safety, on what type of patients would benefit from a specific new drug. How do we need to give it? What's the long-term follow-up? And all these data are so essential in influencing medical practice and improving medical practice and improving treatment for patients. So much of what we do is harnessing all that information that we have about the underlying biology of the disease. All of that together can allow us to make the, the best decisions and decide where we feel we want to take risks and we can take risks. The benefit of having people who work here who both continue to maintain a clinical practice and have a great deal of clinical expertise and experience allows us to look at clinical trials not just as data points, but as patients who would potentially benefit the most from a treatment, as well as defining what the clinical questions are. The really exciting aspect of what we do and the potential for what we do is how it can affect large populations of patients. If you can move the estimated survival over a five-year period of time in a disease, that's impact. That's really exciting. Developing new therapies that change the practice of medicine is very impactful. What enables this is a unique culture which is built on transparency, built on a lot of interaction and cross-functional discussion and sometimes tough discussion in order to get to the best possible outcome. When patients have access to their drug for the first time and have a benefit that hasn't been described before, that is the most amazing moment uh, in what we do.